Hello, good morning. Dora Pinter here with Service Star Realty. Thank you for watching my video last week. We received lots of questions and uh, I will try to address those questions, some of those questions in, uh, in this video today. Most of your concerns are centered around whether the tenant will have any incentive at all to pay rent. And the answer to that is yes, rents are not forgiven, evictions are delayed, and rents are still due. We make sure that we communicate that to the tenants, and that is the idea behind creating payment plans so they can pay partial now and uh, the rest later. Uh, we're trying to help them as much as we can to avoid vacancies, but rents are still due, yes. Um, you were also asking what kind of proof we require for them to show, and there's a couple of things. They have to prove uh, that their pay was reduced, and that can be done through pay stubs, um, bank statements, uh, showing the old amount that they used to be paid, and now it can be proven with a letter from their employer. Um, this with bank statements. The second, the second part of it is the relationship to COVID. So they also have to prove it and whether it is in the same letter from their employer or whether it's uh, a COVID test that was mandatory for them to take. Uh, there could be different uh, proofs. And again, here too, we're trying to be flexible and reasonable. And if the hardship is obvious, we are going to accept their proof. Uh, you have asked if we charge late fees and our rent collection practices are as always uh, to our tenants, except when a tenant proves COVID related hardship, we're not gonna charge them late fees. We are trying to help you, the property owner, as much as we can. You're probably receiving partial rent so we are not going to charge late fees, we're trying to help you and allow you to collect all the money that the tenant has. So we are going to be um, very forgiving with the late fees with the COVID related cases. Another question was, what happens after the 120 days if we are able to evict the tenant immediately or we're gonna have to endure another grace period perhaps and Unfortunately, we don't have that answer just yet. It is very early in the game, but I'm sure as the situation develops, we are going to hear from our attorneys or the courts. Um, we are not reporting these tenants uh, to the credit bureaus either. Uh, also, lots and lots of questions about where the rental market is. And unfortunately, the rental market is weak now. We only received about half the applications or a little bit less than what we normally do. So we're expecting vacancies to be twice as long. And that is why we advise you to work with the tenants because a partial payment could actually yield you more money than a two months vacancy perhaps. So um, we'll keep you updated on the rental market as well as we have the Cromford report coming out uh, regarding uh, buyer confidence out there. We will report to you on that too. And planning on checking in with you on the 4th when we have a better idea how many late payers we have that are related to COVID. Thank you for watching and keep those questions coming. I'll see you later.